Um, so yes, this is Matt and Hannah Last, and we are so glad to have them with us to share a little bit about their generosity journey. So um, friends, how have you um, been generous here in our church and in your lives? Um, so I would say I more so am more on the volunteer side. I volunteer in Kids Central with our special need friends as a buddy. Um, I try to give with the meal plan or the meal train um, when I can. And then um, also just opening our home for hosting church events. Okay. How are we doing, guys? Um, so I have the privilege of being on the guest services team. Um, with Tim's leadership and uh, being a door greeter and usher sometimes, which is um, God's definitely stretching me because I'm an introvert and I'm horrible with names. So that's been exciting. Also get to be a part of the North Central Trustee Deacon Board, uh, role of secretary. And then on the treasure side, uh, Hannah and I always try to tithe um, every week and then we try to also give some money to missions and the capital campaign or building fund, which is close to my heart, that beautiful Kids Central building over there. Got to be a part of that from the start, so love to give some money to that and, and what we're doing over there. And then we also love to, when there's a unique need that pops up, to give when we can as well. Like the Teen Challenge recently, that was an awesome opportunity to give. So obviously there's a lot of opportunities to give and to serve. And um, we're so glad that you guys are part of our church family and that you've been serving in the ways that you have. So my next question is why? Why do you do that? Um, a big part of my why is just listening um, to God's calling, what's been repeated in my head, what's been laid on my heart. And before children, I was a teacher, um, special needs, various environments, and I was just I'd look at them and their families and just say, think, how do these families come to church to get the support that they need, and um, what can I do to help them? And so Pastor Dan's really great of tapping into the talent in our church and um, asked if that would be something we'd like to start in 2019, and then through that, we have a great team, and it's just something that, just listening to what God wants us to do and so as far as giving meals it was we were given so much with our first two children and so being able to just double a recipe and bring it to someone who might also need it um, opening our home has been a lot of fun and um, just that's another thing that God has put on my heart and Matt's and get ready, any of you who are um, on the meal train or aren't the meal train yet, um, we're going to be having a baby here within the next one month, so um, get cooking um, because it is a great opportunity to be able to love each other and our church family by just, just giving a meal, right? I mean, what an impact that made on you guys, too. Go ahead, Matt. And the glistens, too. And the glistens, who are having a baby any second. Mm -hmm. So I got three points for this one. I know PD always said any good sermon has three points, right? So first one really comes from my parents and my grandparents, watching them grow up, learning from their giving habits. Um, wasn't so much about what they gave, but kind of how they gave, the condition of their heart. And uh, they always gave joyfully. They always gave faithfully. And uh, it wasn't about the big moments of giving, but the small, steadfast moments faithfully every week. So learned that at an early age. Another part of my giving story was uh, really perspective. Um, try to remember that all we have is from God. It was all his from the beginning. It's all his now, and it always will be his forever. And so God gives us all we have so we can honor him through giving back. Um, and that's an amazing part of, of worship. And then last thing, something PD preached about uh, a while back was Giving is part of who we are. That's, that's, we're in the image of God, and he's the greatest giver of all times. We can never outgive God. And that's a phrase I loved that he said. We give, and God multiplies it. We give, and God blesses us tenfold back. Mm -hmm. Wow, people listening to preach. It's really, really good. Good stuff. <laughs> so um, this last question I have is, how has um, generosity impacted you? biggest one for me is the connections in our church. Um, when I first started coming with Matt, I was scared. I mean, we had two services at the time, and 
I would have to be by myself in the lobby waiting in between services, but then slowly by serving alongside people in Kids Central, you got to meet them, you were no longer by yourself, you would um, start talking more and just learning about those that you might give a quick hello to. Um, I know giving meals has opened up the doors to say more than just hi and similar with um, having people in our home. Yeah, for me, it's definitely um, been an opportunity that I see God really working in my heart, drawing me closer to him um, and being more reliable on God, trusting on God more, um, his provision, his plans for me. Um, both of us are planners, so we like that control aspect, but learning to let go, you know, and let God in our giving. And then lastly, I think this is a really important one is learning to... Um, have joy in our giving and how much joy it brings when we give. A lot of times I think like, oh, I got to be joyful first, then I'll give. But it's actually when we give, there's great joy that comes out of it. So when we give, God blesses us with that joy. So that's one thing I learned recently, and it's been a huge impact for me. Yeah, and how you said that we are like God, right? And God is a giver, and, and so we give, right? Like um, the Bible talks about how because of the joy that was set before him, Christ endured the cross. He gave everything for us, um, and, it, and it was joy. And so um, we as a church family, we're, we're all part of each other. We're part of one great body, and we get to love and serve one another, and we get to be like our great God in, in those characteristics. So thank you, um, Team Last, for all that you do to give. Um, I know as the, um, the child of a, um, a family that had special needs um, and not being able to be in a church where we had people that were gifted to love and serve our family, it, we struggled. And so knowing um, ways that people are being blessed, um, their kids are being blessed that, um, that have special needs because of people like you guys who are giving your time, your talent, your treasure um, so that families can be loved and served, it's just... It's just extraordinary. So we thank God for you, and um, we thank God that he's using you and all of you to um, be generous in your giving, not only um, your treasure, but in your time and your talent. So um, thanks so much, Team Last. All right. All right.